Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. In this tutorial, let's take a look how we can start with Slack if you have a small business and you want to communicate through all of this small business in just one place. So first of all, I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can get a free account. You can get a free, uh, absolutely all the tools can be helping us to, uh, let's say, to take advantage of all the things that Slack has to offer to us. So what I want to do here is to sign up with my email. If you have a Google account, it will be much more easier. But in my case, I'm going to be choosing an email and hit into continue. Next, we need to confirm our email code. So I'm using a temporary email just for the purpose of this tutorial. So I'm going to hit into this code and go into paste, copy and paste, right? Something like this. Then it says get started with Slack. So what I want to do is to first create a workspace. Now a workspace is going to be helping me to create like all the files, uh, all the videos, all the documents, all the images, everything just in one place. And after I create my own workspace, I can start to add uh, more people into my team inside Slack. So I'm going to hit into create a workspace really really easy now what's gonna happen is gonna be sending us into the first part of slack so what's the name of your company or your team so let's say that in my case the name of my company is called sounds good and hit into next if you want anyone to join your um your place your slack account you can enable the option that I was before but in my case i do want to add them manually so either you can do two things you can add those by email which we can input in here then after you input let's say for example uh example at example.com i'm gonna hit into a comma and i'm gonna add more and more and more uh emails if I want to add that later, or if I want to create a link so I can send those into a WhatsApp group, for example, hit into copy and buy to link. You can go into your WhatsApp and then you can they can paste the link. So that's how it's going to be looking, right? So we're going to go back here and hit into skip this step for now. Then what's your team working on right now? So let's say that we're working into marketing. Hit into next. And lastly, we are now into the first channel. As you can see, this one uh, looks as if it was kind of this code. I'm not pretty sure if you, if you guys already know what this code is, but it's something related uh, like this. We do have different channels where what we can do is to try to customize those. So in here, for example, speaking about the general option, what we can do in here is to start creating announcements like people cannot message here if they want to message, you can add a new channel. For example, I'm going to hit into add channel. I'm going to hit create a new channel. And in here, I'm going to choose descriptions. This is just for uh, announcements. Or let's say official. If you want to make this private, you can do that. In my case, I want to just create it. So what's going to happen here, I can add as much people as I want to. I'm going to skip this for now. And what I want to do if I want to customize this specific uh, channel is that I'm going to hit into this arrow. And here I can enable the notifications if I want to. And here I do have all the files. I do have the members. And here I have the integrations and the settings. Now here into the integrations. Speaking about the integrations, integration is going to be helping us a lot to connect with more applications. If you have, for example, a file you want to share with OneDrive or Google Drive, or you want to create a Zoom code, something like that, you want to go into the add an application. And here, as you can see, there are all the integrations that we can add into our specific channel. For example, if I want to create some, uh, let's say, a specific announcements, I don't want to add any integration. But if these, uh, if the channel is uh, only for video chats, I'm going to choose Zoom. I'm going to hit into install. And here is the app section of Slack. So lastly, what I just need to do is to add this Zoom into my Slack channel. And automatically what's going to happen is that I do have the option to send, them, send those directly into the members of the channel. So here is the requestment. You want to get into a low. And lastly, I can go back into my announcements. I can go into the X button. 
here into the smart once again and in the integrations I might be seeing that the application is now in here into your workspace. I'm going to hit into add and here it is. Zoom was added to announcement my and this is my username. If you want to change uh, a specific fact about yourself you can always go into the upper side and hit into profile. So here into your profile you can add a name pronunciation, you can set up your status, you can choose the contact information, add a phone number. If you want to add a team at uh, this specific team that I created, you can do that. I can even change uh, my profile picture, but I'm just not going to do that at the moment. But this is how you can customize and change all here into your into your own application. So I'm going to hit into Kenzo. Well, now we do know how does the channel works, how does the integration works, how we can uh, customize our profile. So now what I'm going to be showing you is the direct messages. Here I do have the direct messages where I can see all the teammates that are into my into my teamwork. So if I want to add someone where I want to send or let's say communicate with private numbers, private messages, I'm going to be uh, seeing those in here. And if I don't see them in here, I need to add a, a specific email or copy the inbound link and send that to our teammate. So it's going to be popping up something like this. So what we can do is to start sending messages uh, privately. So it's going to be just available something like this. There we go. So we can create, we can schedule, we can mention someone into this chat, which I think it's not important. And lastly, we do have the applications, the integrations of the applications we can add through different channels. If I am using the Zoom application, what I can do is to start a meeting. And as you can see, I do have a start meeting Zoom. I do have a start meeting with topic and join a meeting using team, uh, the meeting ID or the personal link name. So here, just uh, like a few comments that I can use in order to uh, to start working here. So for example, I just need to tap the slash and hit into Zoom and enter to create a new meeting. So I'm gonna hit into enter. And here I just need to authorize the access to Zoom. Of course, I need to create an account into Zoom so this can, can be working right now. And after that, it's gonna be really, really easy to work um, inside Zoom. If I want to add more applications, let's say for example, Google Drive, here is Google Drive. I can add Trello, I can add Google Calendar. Uh, it's really great. The, the Slack actually has a lot of integrations. If I may say that something is really great is to add the Slack for Gmail because I worked a lot uh, in Gmail by sending emails and all that. So everything inside just one application, like just by having that is really, really, really easy, faster. And of course, it's really valuable. So now we guys know how to use the basics uh, into Slack. We do have 90 days left for the trial version, which I think it's really, really great. You can add more than one spaces, workspaces if you want to. And of course, if you want to download all this for your desktop application or your mobile, you can do that as well. So you can get all your work into all the uh, devices that you have in your own. So hopefully this was a very useful video for you guys. Now don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about the Slack application. Thank you so much once again for watching the video. And I will see you on the next one guys. See you soon.